Hey guys, so today I am sharing with you a very random haul slash, hmm, yeah, like review on a few things. <laughs> very random. Some of these things I've had for quite some time and that's why I wanted to kind of mash it all up because as promised, I wanted to do a video where I just swatched the Charlotte Tilbury uh, matte revolution lipsticks, which I'm obsessed with. That's what I'm wearing now. So I wanted to talk about those And then also I picked up a couple things here and there like from Sephora uh, Some bubble bar things that I really really like Because it may not warrant like their own video, you know what I mean? So I figured we would just have a makeup chit chat today and just kind of mash it all up and just go for it so oh and then something kind of new that I got I got a new uh, Kat Von D liquid lipstick. Oh, in that last video when I did my holiday tutorial, I was using Lovesick, not Lolita. And so many people got confused, as they should have, because I said Lolita in the video, but then I linked to Lovesick. And I kind of answered it a couple times in comments, and I, um, it was kind of confusing, but I was using Lovesick. I don't own Lolita, although I have purchased it before. We'll get to that in a minute, okay. Before we get started, I will get into what I'm wearing a little bit. I'll talk about the jewelry when I go over the uh, bobble bar things, but I did want to mention this sweater because I did purchase another one of these, another two, but I got it in mushroom and in gray, which this is the mushroom color. These are those Free People sweaters that I love so much. They're just like the perfect non-frumpy, you know, sweater and I love that the arms are fitted this one's actually a small because at the time when I bought this one the extra small wasn't available in this color but now it is so I don't know to me the extra small and the small fit pretty similar the cream one that I have is in an extra small but I just love the way that they lay they're just really pretty this one is a little longer is the only thing um I think you know like nowadays with all of the tighter like skinny jeans and all that whole trend Wearing big oversized things, you can definitely get away with it. And um, I happen to love that because I like to be comfortable. <laughs> and then, I, like I said, I'll talk about the jewelry in a minute because I kind of want to stick with, you know. Okay. Let's begin. So, the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipsticks. This is the only thing in the video that I was sent. And um, this was such a nice surprise. I, they sent me the whole box, which was super sweet. I got this. I put it up on my board, but... Charlotte Tilbury like hand wrote me this really nice card. It's just it was the sweetest thing and my little box is Tiffany and um, There was this little Victoria's Secret like robe that has like a star on it and it says Tiffany on it It was so cute and it was like wow This is the coolest thing and I then I opened the lipsticks so pretty the packaging is really nice And as I opened them it was like red berry dark and I thought oh no, I'm not gonna like these you guys know, like, I've been wearing these in videos, so obviously I like them, but I was so, so shocked when I tried them on. Okay, so let's start. All right, so first, the color that I'm wearing is very Victoria. Okay, now when I looked at this, I was like, I liked it, but I thought, okay, I, I just felt like these were going to be too, I just felt like they were not going to work, and the formula is just amazing. Like, I don't know how to, I think it's, it was called like a... I don't know how they described it, but it's it's kind of like a luminous, like glowy matte, if that makes any sense. They feel soft. They're not drying like matte lipsticks. And they actually wear pretty, pretty good considering, you know, lipsticks usually don't wear a super long time, but this formula does because it's very thin. You don't need a whole lot. So this one is called Bond Girl. I would say that these two, the Very Victoria and the Bond Girl, are tied as my favorites. Bond Girl is just a little more pinky, but, um you know, still has that hint of just like the wearableness. And then my third favorite, because I'm kind of doing them in order, is the Birkin Brown. I love how they did them all like, um, she did them all like very English, you know? It's like they're named after some people, some places, something, I don't know. But yeah, like I think there was one, there was a Grace Kelly one. Amazing, I guess it's Grace Kelly, and then Victoria, and then the Birkin, like Jane Birkin. So, really nice, and this one is really pretty. It's very, it's like what I'm wearing now, but even darker. This one, I think, is just like a nice everyday, I kind of, I put like a lip liner, and it's so it's a little like faded toward the middle, because that's just kind of the look that I wanted to do. Um, and then Amazing Grace, 
This one is really pretty. I think I was wearing this one in a video uh, not that long ago. It's very pink, so I'm going this way, so it's that one. It's pink, but it's but it's a wearable pretty pink. And then Walk of Shame looks like this. I think, I don't think I've, yeah, I think maybe I'd mixed those. Walk of Shame is kind of similar to Bond Girl, which is that second one, and then that's the Walk of Shame, except it's just a little bit more pink and a little brighter. And where am I? Okay, number six. <laughs> I was like, I'm, God, I'm getting confused. And then Sexy Sienna. This one is almost like, it's kind of similar to the Amazing Grace in that it's one of the brighter ones. But whereas the Amazing Grace one is a little more pink, this one is a little more corally. And then four more. Um, this one is called Love Liberty. Really pretty berry. And the colors are just like so rich. They're really beautiful. Red Carpet Red is a true, it's a true red, but it's, it's a bright red. I didn't show it to you in the thing, did I? Um, and then Lost Cherry, this one's very pink. But you know, it's funny because that's what I was, I was saying that earlier, like I looked at them and I was like, no, I don't know, I don't know. When you look at them in the packaging, you're like, bam, like they're real bright. You, you might think that's too brown, that's too dark, that's too bright, that's too red. But something about a formula is like, they're just so pretty and wearable. And then this one is Glastonbury. And this one is a little more of a purpley tone. It's a little bit of like a berry purple. So definitely check those out. They do sell this whole box if you were gonna like, you know, go all in and be like, give me all of them. Yeah, I just, I absolutely love them. This one and Bond Girl, I would have to say definitely my top picks and the Birkin Brown. I just, I love all those. But you may wanna mix a bright color in, you know, cause those are all kind of in the same little family. All right, let me talk about a couple of Sephora things. So, like I said, you know, I would buy things here and there or, you know, I just didn't want to talk about something until I tried it a couple times because I don't want people to like run out and buy something and then, you know. Okay, so a while back I bought the Marc Jacobs. I love the Marc Jacobs line. Like, I've been so happy with everything. Um, there's one other thing that's a little funky that I might talk about in an upcoming video that's kind of interesting. But anyways, the Marc Jacobs, the white powder, that, you know, invisible one, you know, like I have the NARS one and those powders that most of the brands have. And so I bought the compact, you know, touch-up powder, whatever, and it was big. I mean, the packaging was real big and the powder was okay, it swatched nice, but then it came with a puff, not in it. It was like packaged outside of the compact well, if you're gonna take it with you, like that's what I like to do. I like to take those powders with me and blot that, you know, use them throughout the day. Use them to like touch up throughout the day. You couldn't put it in. Like you would put it in and then you would have to force it shut. And I'm like, no wonder there are so many reviews on Sephora where people say that their powder separates or it cracks because people are shoving those things in there. And I almost kept it because I just kind of forced it shut and was like, whatever. Um, you know, it was almost like when you put the spongy, you know, poof in it, it was like, eh, like you were having to really force it shut. So I can see where that's happening. I didn't even want to fool with it. The packaging was huge and I was like, no. So I just sent it back. And instead, because I knew I really wanted to try another one, I really love the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. And I like it the same as this product, but I like the packaging of this one so much better. I got the Laura Mercier um, Invisible Press set Setting Powder in Universal. I've been using this for a couple weeks now. I mean, I got this before I did all the Sephora holiday stuff. So I have been trying it for a while. So the so first of all, you know, it's one of those white powders. It's very smooth. It's not chalky or anything. Um, I've used it actually with my brush a couple times just, you know, to set my makeup and it works perfectly like that. So it's kind of like an all-in-one thing and then you can take it with you. I love that it's just easy. The um, powder lifts right up and your poof is under there and it's one of those really nice Laura Mercier poofs which this is what won me over because I can just be like, Meow, you know, just pull it out, no big deal. And don't you just feel like fancy when you have these little, I do. I have been weirdly into finding like new and better, be I guess like with everything, you know, I find things that I love, but I'm always on the hunt for something new. And the Clinique 
Acne Solutions BB in the light shade. That is the best formula, foundation, BB cream, whatever that I've ever used. I love it. I just wish that it came in one lighter shade. I have the lightest shade, which is light, and sometimes it can be just a hair too dark. So I'm very fair. I wish they would come out with a fair. I find that that whole shade range in that product is a bit dark. Anyways, so I got this. My whole skin a thing now is I'm trying just to like, you know, I just want to get rid of all of my darkness and like old marks from breakouts. You know, I'm just wanting everything to be like even and nice and the next time I go to the dermatologist, I'm going to really be like, give me something good. You know what I mean? Like just freaking get all this crap off my face. Because when I'm not wearing makeup, it's not a big deal. It's not, but like it is, it's like shadowy. You know what I mean? Okay. So I got this, it's the Estee Lauder Crescent White line, and it's the BB Cream and Brightening Balm, and it's like full, it says full cycle brightening and all this, and I was like, okay. It's too dark for me, slightly. I can wear it, but it gives me like a tan cast on my face. I don't want that. I just want my skin to look like my skin, and I'll warm it up with other products, but you know, you just have to be so careful when you have, um, you know, fair skin. Anyways. So it's kind of like a little bit of a, I mean, it's definitely light, but it's not light enough. I think if it was just a shade lighter, it would be perfect. It's almost like a weird creamy gel consistency. It sets really fast. It feels pretty thick. It doesn't stay very well throughout the day, but it's pretty. It, it makes my skin look pretty. So if you don't need a lot of coverage and you're not quite as fair as I am, you may want to try this. The, the thing that makes this so cool though is in the lid. I wish, I wish I could take this product and like put it in the lid of like all my other BB creams. But anyways, this is so cool. So this is the brightening balm and I would buy this by itself. It's like so beautiful. So you put the cream on your face and then you take this and kind of just, you know, put it wherever. It's so pretty. Maybe this is what makes it look pretty. That's probably what makes it look so pretty, but I really, think if you have slightly darker skin than me and you want to try a new BB cream, try it. It's really pretty, like I said, but don't do it if you've got a lot to cover. So this is probably the newest product in this whole little video spiel. Um, I got an email the other day from Sephora that said VIB Rouge special color of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, whatever. And I love these so much. You guys know I've kind of been obsessed with these. I was like, okay, okay, give, give me it, you know? I ordered it and it is the Lolita 2. So Lolita is one of their most famous colors in the line. Like I said, um, it's kind of like a mauve -y color. I think, I remember when they first came out, I remember there was some controversy, like the original one was a different color in the one that's out now, but now there's a second one. This one is a little more of like a terracotta color. It has a little bit more orange in it, is what I mean by that. So I should try it on. I might try it on in a minute, just in case it looks horrible. I don't have to wear it for the rest of the video. But I think it's pretty. I think it's going to be pretty. I'll try it on in a minute, like I said. But I actually ordered the Lolita and the Bow and Arrow when they came back in stock, like, weeks ago. And the Bow and Arrow is, like, one of the most popular ones that, like, is always sold out. It was so brown and, like, dead-looking. I just sent it back. And the same with the Lolita. It was too purpley brown. And I have some that are kind of, like purpley looking, but um, it was just weird. I didn't like it. So I hope that I like this one because it's a little warmer than the original. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll see. Um, we'll see in just a second. Okay, so from Bobble Bar, I got a couple things. Um, I kind of just wanted to freshen things up and get a couple new little things. This I love so much. It's, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I don't know what any of this stuff's called exactly, but I'm wearing it with that little tassel necklace that I wear all the time. It's that little wine necklace. I don't really like the tassel. I mean, it's cute. I don't know. I don't really like that, though. I'll wear it um, just in like that. And this has, like, pretty little black stones. I just think it's really unique. I love it. Um, pretty to layer. And if it kind of gets sideways or whatever, I think that's kind of pretty. And then I got this bracelet. I wear pretty much the same thing. Sometimes I wear my little um, Hermes wrap bracelet and I just got an Apple watch, so I'm really excited about that. I have not set it up yet, but I'm about to. So anyways, I've got my L&M cuffs. 
uh, the two birthstone cuffs. One's mine and one's Olivia's. They're both red, which I like. Hers is garnet and mine's ruby. And then the date cuff that is her birthday. These are really nice. They're gold plated. They look really nice. I love it like that when one's on each side. It's just such a nice look. Yeah. But I like to layer de more delicate looking things in too. And I got this little bracelet. I thought it was cute. I don't know what it's called, but I'll link to these things below. It has a little like pave detail. You know, just kind of a little wiry, easy bracelet. And then I bought these, which was a little out of the ordinary for me. I mean, I have big earrings, I like them, but I like to either do earrings, I mean, these are just like studs, you know, but if I'm gonna wear big earrings, I don't wear like a lot of necklaces. It's kind of like the visual effect of like a room or something. If you have just too many things, you can't focus, you know what I mean, on the good things. So I feel like that with jewelry. I feel like if I wear a big, big earrings and necklaces, it's just like what? Um, it's just overwhelming. So I just like I like to either have one or the other. I just think it's a better balance. Um, that's just what I like. But I love, love, love these. And I'm not big into a lot of these really big, like sparkly earrings. You know, I mean, these have been very popular for years. Like earrings like that. I love how these are not so sweet looking. They have a little bit of a spiky element. The stones are kind of a little dark in the middle. They just look, they're just fun. So I thought these would be really, they'd be really pretty with a sweater. But, um, but yeah, I just, I love those. And then I grabbed these two and I wore these the other day. I really liked them. They're called, um, I do know the name of these. I don't know why I remember this. I think they're called Echo Studs, but aren't those pretty? So it's, it's like a stud. You know, you get the same effect, not overwhelming. You can still wear jewelry and stuff with it and it's not like too much, but you get a little extra, you get a little something. So yeah, that's it. Let me try on this lipstick. Yeah, I think this just came out. Hopefully they'll still have it. I hate to even show it because I feel like you can only get it if you're a Rouge member or a VIB. Is it a VIB or is it Rouge? I don't know. It might be, be worth looking into, but um, I'll try it on if you guys are interested. It's the Lolita 2. Mm-hmm. It's the first time I've used it. Oh my gosh, I kind of... Okay. Yeah, this is cool. This is... I like this a lot better than I expected to. So, I hate to even... Like I said, I know not everyone can get this, but if you were looking at these, my very, very favorite is the Lovesick, I think, out of all of them. And honestly, now this one, I really like this one. But I'll link to them so you can see all the colors. And... I can't tell you how much I have been enjoying this, the Too Faced Melted Sugar. I feel like I've mentioned this so much lately, but if you like liquid lipsticks or any lipsticks, anything, like if you wear a lot of matte lipsticks, you have to get this color because it gives you that look of dimension. It doesn't change the color. You put it on right in the middle. You don't want to put on too much. And then you just kind of blot it. And can even wipe off a little. Got all the swatches wiped on that rag. See, it gives it just a little dimension. Okay, I really, really like that. And about these Kat Von D lipsticks and liquid lipsticks in general that are this formula that kind of just set, you know, they don't make your lips feel like they're shrinking up. Like, do you remember like those old school long wear lipsticks that had like the clear end, like the CoverGirl ones and you know, all those. And I think there's still some brands that have that. Um, I think MAC has them. But you know, like that first color, if you didn't put that clear thing, the sealer over it, you would your lips would be like parched. And this doesn't do that, obviously. They're, they're comfortable. But you have that same feeling like you're not wearing anything, you know, like I can feel a little because I added that Too Faced Melted because these aren't really like that. These don't set as much as those. Okay, I feel like I've talked a lot and that was a lot of stuff, but I am just really excited about this month. I feel like there's so many good things coming up. Obviously, the holidays, Olivia's first Christmas. I feel like um, sometimes I just miss talking to you guys like I used to kind of more personally when I would do the pregnancy vlogs every week and I don't always have time to come and like sit and do a third video during the week, but you know, sometimes I'll try to. Um, I do have a lot of, you know, as always, I just kind of do those when I can. Um, I stick to my two videos a week, but I always, you know, if I can, I'll add the third. 
but I have a lot that I filmed over the last like gosh several weeks months even that that's like vlog stuff and I think I'm gonna do a holiday one hopefully that I can get up next Wednesday don't hold me to that I don't even know why I just said that but I'm gonna try to do that I want to do a little bit of home stuff you know like I did that one year I did like a full out like Christmas holiday home tour so much has changed since then anyways with the house but every year I do my trees different and but yeah I will show you guys a little bit of that hopefully in that video it'll just be very informal you know it's like no big deal like usual like my vlogs uh, but but I had a little I have a little bit filmed of when we took Olivia to see Santa which if you follow me on Instagram and you saw that picture that was a fun day <laughs> and if you saw that picture you know what I'm talking about but um, it's so cute. I think when kids get to be a certain age, because she was 10 months old in that picture. She's about to be 11 months old and it's freaking me out. Kids, when they get to be like aware at that age, you know, like when they're a little bit older, I think, um, like her, you know, like she's still very much a baby, but she's very aware, you know, that's when Santa's either kind of like, if they're going to cry, they're just, they're going to cry. Some kids would probably, you know, I'm not saying all kids are going to cry, but I have friends that are like, oh, my, my kid didn't cry at all that, you know, when they were like three or four months old, they don't know, you know, you're just like, here, you just sit the kid down, they're like, hey, um, but yeah, once they get a little bit older, it's really fun, so, um, but yeah, we've just, we've had so much fun with her, and, um, gosh, I need to do an update, I need to do some sort of, like, just fun Q&A, you guys know, like, I'm not super, like, you know, over sharing everything, but I want to do, like, another, um, personal type fun Q&A, um, maybe by myself, maybe one with Brad, I don't know, me and Brad always have fun with those together and he occasionally will be like, let's do another one of those. Like he likes doing them, but um, I might do one that's mom related, beauty, anything related that may just be like a free for all, you know, I'll answer questions type thing. I uh, don't know when that's gonna be. Maybe after the new year, maybe at the end of December. I don't know, we'll figure it out, but I will let you guys know. Follow me on Instagram for that kind of stuff. I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and um, for catching up with me a little bit and talking about this like really random stuff, <laughs> like really random. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great weekend and I will see you back here next week. Bye guys.